Want to speak real Portuguese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at portuguesepod101.com. E aí, gente, tudo bom? Paloma here. Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Awards Holiday Edition. Today we are going to talk about Tiradentes Day. Tiradentes. Tiradentes. Tiradentes is a Brazilian national hero. He was part of the Inconfidencia Mineira, a group of people that were planning a revolution in Minas Gerais State. O dia de Tiradentes é dia 21 de abril. Tiradentes Day is on April 21st. Minas Gerais, a state in Brazil, where Tiradentes was from. Minas Gerais means general mines. That means that for a long time, Minas was very important to Brazil because they were a mining place. So a lot of the gold that they use in Europe actually comes from Brazil. Also, there's one city where Tiradentes was from, and now it's named Tiradentes City. Tem muitas cidades históricas em Minas Gerais. There are a lot of historical cities in Minas Gerais. In Confidencia Mineira, Minas Gerais Conspiracy. So this is called in Confidencia or Conspiracy because actually the revolution didn't happen because they killed everyone before everything happened. One person of the group actually told the policeman about their plans because he was owing a lot of money to the courts so that's why it didn't become a revolution and only a conspiracy. Tiradentes fez parte da Inconfidencia Mineira. Tiradentes was part of Minas Gerais conspiracy. Martyr. Martyr. Tiradentes is considered the martyr or the hero of the Inconfidencia Mineira. That's why he's so important to Brazilian history. Tiradentes é o mártir da Inconfidencia Mineira. Tiradentes is the martyr of the Minas Gerais Conspiracy. Semana da Inconfidencia. Conspiracy Week. Eu quero ir para Tiradentes durante a Semana da Inconfidencia. I want to go to Tiradentes City during the Conspiracy Week. Hi everyone, Paloma here. Welcome to another Portuguese Weekly Words, Holiday Edition. So let's see what holiday we have to talk about today. Boyfriend and Girlfriend's Day. Dia dos Namorados. Dia dos Namorados. Boyfriend and Girlfriend's Day or Lover's Day. So this is a very important day for Brazilian couples because they go out and they hang out together and they have a great time. And it's very similar to Valentine's Day in America or in any other country. But the difference is that we celebrate it in June, not in February, other places. A sample sentence would be O dia dos namorados é no dia 12 de junho. Boyfriend and Girlfriend's Day is on June 12th. Santo Antônio, o santo casamenteiro. Saint Anthony of Padua, patron saint of weddings. So this saint is very famous in Brazil because he's kind of a matchmaker. So when a boy or a girl can find a husband or a wife, they just ask this saint for some help. A simple sentence would be O dia de Santo Antônio é dia 13 de junho. St. Anthony's Day is on June 13th. Okay, so that means the Boyfriend and Girlfriend's Day is one day before the St. Anthony's Day. Namorado, namorada. Boyfriend or girlfriend. A very nice tradition we have in Brazil is that when a boy is going to ask a girl to be his girlfriend, he usually gives her a ring. So it's usually a silver ring and we use it on our right hand and it's called Aliança de Compromisso, or Compromise Ring. So, let's see a sample sentence. Eu ganhei uma aliança de compromisso do meu namorado. I won a compromise ring from my boyfriend. Encontro. Date. So, encontros in Brazil are just like in any other country. We just go out to a nice restaurant or have a nice romantic trip. And we just like to spend time with the person we like. Eu marquei um encontro com o meu namorado amanhã. I got a date with my boyfriend tomorrow. Simpatias. Sympathies. Simpatias is something we do to ask Santo Antonio to give us a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Usually girls do that to ask for a husband. A very famous one is that you get the same image and you turn it upside down and it's kind of Asking him if he doesn't give you a husband, you're not going to turn it up again. So, yeah, that's one of the most famous simpatias. Eu fiz uma simpatia para pedir um marido. I did a sympathy to ask for a husband. Hi everyone, Paloma here. Welcome to another Portuguese Weekly Awards Holiday Edition. Let's see what holiday we have for today. 
Junsens. Festa Junina. Junsens. A Festa Junina is a festival have in Brazil in June to celebrate the saints of the month. Nowadays, it also takes place sometimes in July, depending on the place. Uh, it's very famous throughout the country. Okay, so let's see a sample sentence. Na Festa Junina, nós comemos doces de amendoim e milho. During June Saints, we eat peanut and corn sweets. Quentão. A hot drink made of distilled sugarcane and spices. This is a hot alcohol drink that we drink during Festa Junina and it's very nice because it's very hot, so it's nice to keep you warm since it's winter in Brazil. Na Festa Junina, tinha quentão e vinho quente. During the Festa Junina, there was quentão and hot wine. Hot wine is also a kind of drink we have during Festa Junina that is obviously made of wine. Fogueira. Bonfire. It's very traditional to have a bonfire in Festa Juninas. Uh, especially the big ones, they usually have a huge bonfire. Tinha uma fogueira gigante naquela Festa Junina. There was a huge bonfire on that Festa Junina. São João. Saint John the Baptist. He's one of the most famous saints of the month in the northeastern part of Brazil. It is called Festa de São João, or St. John's Party or Festival. Okay, so let's see a sample sentence. No Nordeste está a maior festa de São João do mundo. In the northeastern part of Brazil, there's the biggest São João festival of the world. Quadrilha. Square dance. Quadrilha is the traditional dance during the Festa Junina. It's usually danced in pairs and it's kind of imitating a wedding. Na escola, eu dançava quadrilha todos os anos. In school, I used to dance square dance every year. Hi guys, Paloma here. Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words Holiday Edition. The holiday for today is Day of Saci. Dia do Saci. Day of Saci. In Brazil, we don't have Halloween, so since this holiday was becoming very famous in Brazil, they just try to name it Day of Saci or Dia do Saci. O dia do Saci é no mesmo dia do Halloween. The day of Saci is on the same day as Halloween. Dia das Bruxas, Halloween. Day of the Witches, Halloween. These are their names you can call the dia do Saci. So you could say, Eu vou me vestir de vampiro no dia das bruxas. I'm going as a vampire on Halloween. Gostosuras ou travessuras, trick or treat. So, when kids go and knock on your door, they probably will say Gostosuras ou travessuras? Trick or treat? Folklore. Folklore. Sassy is a black boy with only one foot and he goes around making some tricks with people. O Sassy faz parte do folclore brasileiro. Sassy is part of Brazilian folklore. Cuca. A silver-haired old hag who looks like an alligator and catches naughty children. Cuca is a kind of an alligator and became very famous with Monteiro Lobato, a Brazilian writer, and also became a TV show. Muitas crianças têm medo da Cuca. Many kids are afraid of Cuca. Hi everyone, Paloma here. Welcome to our Portuguese Weekly Words Holiday Edition. So the holiday for today is Our Lady of Aparecida. Nossa Senhora Aparecida. Our Lady Aparecida. On this day, people go to church and especially to the Aparecida city to celebrate the discovery of the saints. O dia de Nossa Senhora Aparecida é em 12 de outubro. Our Lady Aparecida Day is on October 12th. Rio Paraíba, Paraíba River. This is the river where they found the image of the saints. So this is why we call her Aparecida or appeared, because she appeared in the middle of the water. O rio Paraíba foi onde se encontrou a imagem de Nossa Senhora. The Paraíba River is where they found the image of Our Lady. Catholicismo. Catholicism. Since Brazil is a Catholic country, on October 12th, people go to Aparecida City to pay respect and thank and ask for favors to Our Lady Aparecida. O catolicismo é muito forte no Brasil. The Catholicism is very strong in Brazil. Basílica. Basilica. Our Lady Aparecida Basilica is located in Aparecida City, very close to São Paulo. Milhares de devotos vão à Basílica de Nossa Senhora. Thousands of devotes go to Our Lady Aparecida Basilica. Peregrinação. Pilgrimage. So, during this time on October, 
thousands and thousands of people, they make caravans and groups of people that go to the Basilica to thank the Our Lady or to ask her for more favors. Algumas peregrinações podem durar dias ou até meses. Some pilgrimages can take days or even months. Hi everyone, Paloma here. Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words Holiday Edition. The holiday for today is Republic Day. Dia da República. Republic Day. It's usually a normal holiday. People just use this day to go to the beach or visit family or friends. O Dia da República é comemorado dia 15 de novembro. Republic Day is celebrated on November 15th. Dom Pedro II. Pedro II, last emperor of Brazil. Pedro II was the last emperor of Brazil and after the proclamation of the Republic, he went back to Portugal where his family was still in power. Dom Pedro II se tornou rei quando era apenas uma criança. Pedro II became king when he was just a kid. Proclamação da República. Proclamation of the Republic. A Proclamação da República aconteceu em 15 de novembro de 1889. The Proclamation of the Republic happened in November 15, 1889. And after that, we started to have presidents and democracy in Brazil. Marechal Deodoro da Fonseca. Marshal Deodoro da Fonseca, first president of Brazil. Marshal Deodoro da Fonseca was the one that took charge in Brazil when they sent the emperor back to Portugal and his governance was from 1889 to 1891. Marechal Deodoro da Fonseca was the first president of Marshal Deodoro da Fonseca was the first president of Brazil. Democracia. Democracy. The Republic was the first attempt to install the democracy in Brazil and have the people have some say in the decisions of the country. A democracia é importante para uma sociedade qualitária. Democracy is important for an equalitarian society. Oi gente, tudo bom? Paloma here. Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words Holiday Edition. The holiday today is Christmas. Natal. Christmas. Natal is also celebrated on December 25th in Brazil and usually on 24th people have half day work and on 25th they rest all day. Eu vou visitar a minha família no Natal. I'm going to visit my family on Christmas. Papai Noel, Santa Claus. Papai Noel is the most awaited person during Christmas time for kids because he's the one that get them presents. Esse ano Papai Noel trouxe uma boneca para mim. This year, Santa Claus brought me a doll. Pisca pisca. Blinker, like Christmas decoration. So pisca pisca means blinking? Yeah, and this is the lightening they use during Christmas time. Eu vou colocar pisca pisca na minha árvore de Natal. I put light Christmas decorations on my Christmas tree. Chester. Special type of chicken. Chester is my favorite meat during Christmas time in Brazil because it's Kind of a chicken, but it's more juicy and it's very delicious. You have to try it. Nós sempre fazemos Chester em casa no Natal. We always cook Chester at home for Christmas. Amigo secreto. Secret Santa. Amigo secreto is kind of a game we do during Christmas, especially for big families. You have to get presents to everyone. So if you just have a secret Santa, you just get presents to one person and that person to another person. Everyone gets a present in the end. Nós vamos sortear o Amigo Secreto na semana que vem. We raffle for Secret Santa next week. Oi gente, tudo bom? Paloma here. Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words Holiday Edition. The holiday for today is New Year's Day. Ano Novo. New Year. Since Christmas is a holiday that people spend with their family, many people spend New Year with their friends. They usually go to the beach. It's a great place to spend New Year since here is summer. Eu vou pra praia no Ano Novo. I'll go to the beach on New Year. Cor da roupa. Clothing color. So this is a very important point on Brazilian's New Year. We usually wear white for peace, but many people use yellow to get some money for next year or green for prosperity. Uh, yeah, each color means something. Eu vou pesquisar o significado da cor da roupa para o ano novo. I'll search about the meaning of the clothing color for New Year. Figo, romã, lentilha, uva. Fig, pomegranate. Lentils, grapes. 
all those foods are symbol of prosperity so many people are very superstitious about it and they eat seven of each during New Year's Eve. Minha mãe já comprou figo e a romã para o ano novo. My mom already bought the fig and the pomegranate for the new year. Corrida Internacional de São Silvestre. International São Silvestre Race. This is a kind of a marathon that happens in São Paulo on January 1st and is probably the most famous race in Brazil. Esse ano eu vou correr na Corrida de São Silvestre. This year I'm going to run on São Silvestre Race. Fogos de Artifício. Fireworks. As I said before, many people go to the beach during New Year and one of the most famous places to go is on Copacabana Beach in Rio. There are the most famous fireworks in Brazil. Esse ano eu quero ir para Copacabana ver os fogos de artifício. This year I want to go to Copacabana Beach to see the fireworks. Oi gente! Hi everyone! Paloma here! Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Awards Holiday Edition! So today's holiday is a very nice one that I think everyone will love. Carnival! Carnaval! Carnival. Carnival is celebrated around February and March in Brazil. It depends on the year. If you're planning to come during Carnival to Brazil, just check the calendar before buying your ticket because it changes every year. Ano que vem eu vou no Carnaval do Rio. Next year I'm going to Rio's Carnival. Folião. Carnival Reliver. So folião or foliões, the plural form, are the people that go to Carnival. They usually wear costumes or the abada which is kind of a t-shirt that they gave you you have to pay for that but that you use during carnivals os foliões se divertiram no carnaval da bahia the relevers had a lot of fun in bahia's carnival fantasia costume so it's interesting that we usually don't wear costumes on halloween but it's very traditional to wear costumes or especially masks during carnival Eu preciso comprar uma máscara e uma fantasia para o carnaval. I need to buy a mask and a costume to carnival. Axé. Axé music. So this is one of the most popular kind of music in Brazil. It's very cheerful and you know people just feel like dancing when you hear it. Especially in the northeastern part of Brazil, in Nordeste, people dance this kind of music during carnival. Tem muita axé no carnaval de Porto Seguro. There's a lot of axé music in Porto Seguro's Carnival. Samba. Samba. Yeah, so this is probably the most famous kind of Brazilian music. Samba. And especially in Rio, it's so popular. Yeah, you just need to go to Rio to listen to samba. So another word that has samba is Escola de Samba, which are the groups of people that make the parades on Rio and Sao Paulo and everywhere in the country. So they prepare a whole year to do the presentation on the carnival day. Aquela moça samba muito. Ela é a rainha da bateria. That girl dance samba a lot. She's the queen of the drums. Hi everyone, Paloma here. Tudo bom? Welcome to Portuguese Weekly Words Holiday Edition. The holiday for today is International Women's Day. Dia Internacional da Mulher. International Women's Day. It's not a holiday, but people still celebrate it. Especially men or kids give flowers to women. Every year I used to receive a small chocolate from the school just to say, you know, thank you for all the women here. O Dia Internacional da Mulher é dia 8 de março. International Women's Day is on March 8th. Buque. Buque. I guess the same as Portuguese. Bouquets and flowers in general are very common gifts during Women's Day because you know they're so delicate and they remember the femininity i think eu ganhei um lindo buquê de rosas no dia da mulher i got a beautiful bouquet of roses on women's day mimo small gift i really like this word mimo it sounds so brazilian to me you can say é só um mimo it's just a small gift it's just a mimo you know just to make the person happy eu comprei para você é só um mimo direitos femininos Women's rights. Actually, on Women's Day, we should celebrate women's rights because you can see all the changes that happened in the last years for women that didn't have any space on companies or business and now they have more space and more equality. But they still, there's a long way to go. Aquela advogada luta pelo direito das mulheres. The lawyer fights for women's rights. Dilma Rousseff. 
first female president of Brazil, elected on 2011. Dilma was the first female president of Brazil. We also had other female candidates. Marina Silva was also one of the big contenders for 2011 elections. But you can see women are trying to get to the top in Brazil too. Dilma foi a primeira presidente mulher do Brasil. Dilma was the first female president of Brazil.